<laughs> was that it? Well, there's one that's called Miss Travel, and it's just w- women who want to travel. So pretty much like a sugar daddy website. I thought it was gonna be women who've had miscarriages. <laughs> 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 I was really nervous. I was like, "Well, they give it a cute name. Tone it down." <laughs> okay, there's a uh, naturist passion Forget- nudist looking the date nudist. Forget miscarriage. I want to be Mister Carriage. All right, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Morning Woods podcast. I just want to say, first of all, if you are listening, go down to the bottom and click subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you get updates from all of our videos every week when they come out. My boyfriend needed a kidney transplant, so she gave him a kidney, and then he broke up with her. Whoa. Yeah, he probably he probably like found out she was cheating, but also found out he had kidney failure the same day, and he was like, you know what? That's fair. I'm not gonna be able to tell her, but I can get her back like in an <laughs> ultimate way, and I can take a part of her That's with me. So right? I got a That's funny story a about prenup, that. Dude. Uh, hey guys, uh, just wanted to plug a few upcoming dates. This Friday, January 28th, I'll be at Burkus Brewing in Ludlow, Kentucky, featuring for Rand Barnaclo. This Sunday, I'll be at Wiley's Comedy Club, January 30th. He- headliner is gonna be Bridget Denman. I'm hosting that Sunday comics. Uh, February 4th, I'll be at Devil's Wind Brewing in Xenia with Luca Paso. February 5th, I'll be at Wiley's doing a spot for Derek Zhu. He's there all weekend. Make sure you get tickets for that at Wiley'sComedy.com. March 4th, I'll be featuring at Crackpots Comedy Club in Maslin. March 23rd to the 24th, I will be at the Atlanta Punchline with the World Series of Comedy. March 26th, I will be featuring at Crackpots also that weekend. So that's going to be... <laughs> <laughs> what the f- is your problem? <laughs> we literally just told this guy. We were like, the one thing that you can't don't say, say the v word. The one thing that you can't don't say. Don't say it. Well, that's just my last don't name. Don't say it. Or you asked what my last name was. It's Kyle. All right, we just cut the first two minutes of this out. Um, no, it was only about a thirty-second clip. I was like, dude, it takes so much to edit. Um, we won't talk about that, all right? <laughs> no, just just bleep it out. <laughs> Join our listener support program. We have three tiers, 99 cents, 4.99 and 9.99. So, you guys go ahead and get your wallets out, get your credit cards out and uh, throw us a couple bucks every month It makes the show better and we appreciate your guys' support. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny's pissed. Is there anything that we- <laughs> I saw it. Right. I saw it. Dude, but right. you I don't back. even care. You did. I don't care. I saw Johnny get pissed and I didn't even have it on and him. And think I about it. I, I wish I did have it on him. Is it on? Yeah, it's on now. Oh, <laughs> he came when he said that. Yeah. Uh, did you hear that? Uh, hey guys, welcome so to the long. Morning Woods podcast. <laughs> We are in studio live right now with Kyle Kemper and Nick Taylor. What's going on, gang? Thank you. Nothing. <laughs> hey, we're hey, we're happy. Hey. I'm glad you guys are here. This we're is happy. fun, dude. Yeah, Johnny. Hey. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Johnny, yeah. Zachary, Kyle. Yeah. Kicking it off. So, well, uh, I know um, that you guys just got back from a little tour, a little mini tour, right? You guys went across the country, did some uh, did some shows out of town here. Yeah. Let's let's reel that in. <laughs> let's across okay. the country. Am I am I <laughs> am I over overblowing yeah. it a little bit? Am I pushing? Let's say tour was. We, we went to you Illinois. You guys we went to show. one part of Illinois. Yeah. One state away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, all right. Let's no, try not to though. boast about it or anything. No, no, it was so fun. Yeah, tell me about that. You guys uh, had a little road trip together. Is what I really meant to open with. We did. We did a tour of basically all the different gas stations in the Midwest. Yeah. I yeah. Don't know. We didn't realize it's like what are they called? Casey's. Casey's <laughs> the we did a different station. Casey's every night. That's awesome. Oh, they they paid us in donuts and in uh, ch- chewing tobacco. Pizza. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. You could tell because people were like really hyping up the pizza at Casey's. It's like a chain of gas station out there. Yeah. And then uh, we're like, oh, we're looking for some good pizza, and someone's like, oh, you gotta get Casey's, the <laughs> gas station pizza. And oh I was like, shit. Sounds like I gotta go to a different town. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. who recommends the gas station right. pizza? It's not a guy who folds a slice. I know that. Sounds oh. like a pussy to me. It, uh, their breakfast pizza is bomb as fuck, though. I want. What are you I, from Illinois? That is the third time Zach, we've heard this, Zach. What I want you to do, Zach. I want you to hire a new tech, That's and then I want thing. you to fire yourself. Okay, Bro, Zach. Okay. That's what I want That's you to what do. I'll do. If you ever bring no, up Casey's bre- breakfast pizza again. Their, bre- their <laughs> breakfast pizza is bomb. Everyone says the breakfast pizza is bomb. Who's starting their day with gas station pizza, though? I That's don't know. Uh, That's crazy, bro. Hey, can I do that? We can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Like, oh, <laughs> every day, dude. That's why you have guys, this job. That's why we don't have him on camera, guys. I just want to let you know um, this is why we don't have Zach yeah. on camera. Just and so. you're welcome, by the way, because uh, let me know. <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez. You don't have to beat him to death with your words, man. Hey, I mean, 
It wasn't God, that bro. bad though. Let's be honest. It was really the good bread. pizza. Was, yeah. I'm sorry for Come on, it because was he good. Was so right. It's How so good, good is it? Why did we order great. Domino's? We could have just fucking ordered Casey's on DoorDash. I didn't know here's, there was a Casey's. Here's around the thing. Here. Domino's Dude, is right down the street. No, it's closed. That's our premier gas station. If there is, if there is one, that's it. Dom, dude, Domino's is Casey's without gas. Like it's the same. You might as well go to Casey's. Yeah. Get gas. We did a Domino's in Illinois. We did. We did pizza three nights in a row. It was to the point what where. What else do you do when you're out there? Somebody thought my credit card was stolen because they they called me and they're like, I think somebody's gotten pizza three <laughs> nights in a row. I was like, oh, that, was, that was right. <laughs> that was me. They're like, was one you and then someone stole it and then someone else stole it? And I go, all three were me. That was all me three times. Yeah. So. Yeah, but uh, no, the shows were great. Um, we did, So what we did was a mic the first night, but it was like a show. Right, yeah. there was like fifty people. There was like this bougie. It was like this. Am I good? Yeah. You're okay. Good. It was like the, he gave me the finger, like I was this, this kid. He was like, "You fucking." I was gonna go. I don't know what's going. Does he on. get it? Does he get to three? And I had a. No. Yeah. You just okay. Yeah. You guys keep telling me about your pizza. Okay. All right. That's right. Johnny's got to go hit his kids real quick. <laughs> Dude, that's every conversation. I no, have but like, hey, tell like, me about uh, the pizza. And they walk away. <laughs> but when I worked early in the morning at Amazon. Like there wasn't shit open like when I first got there. So, uh, <laughs> Bro. Real quick, I gotta defend myself when you guys came at me for the Mexican pizza or what was it? Breakfast pizza? Yeah, I said Mexican. Yeah, hey, no, 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 no. Well, no, there wasn't shit open. Like, and I don't fuck with McDonald's like at all. Yeah, we're not and, mad at you. We can still be friends, no. bro. But their pizza. <laughs> I banging. draw the line of McDonald's, but I'm gonna go grab this gas yeah. station pizza. It's, it's good as fuck, like, bro. I was addicted to heroin. Okay, you gotta cut me some slack. <laughs> I had a problem. No, I don't vape. What? <laughs> Doing heroin. Hey, I think there's a gay? cigarette in my pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when you said the Amazon thing, it, like you just started talking. I thought you were just starting <laughs> a whole new conversation. I was. I was. I was. I had to keep it rolling because he's gonna go beat his kids. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. You all right? So you worked at Amazon, and you and Casey's had your back. Yeah, Casey had my back. That was your I, girlfriend, Casey. Yeah, she didn't have a girlfriend. Because, uh, what, what what else is out in New Lebanon when you're or Germantown? Tell the folks at home that live in New Lebanon how yeah. how it is. Um, New Lebanon sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's like Drexel's like fucking cute sister, basically. You know what I <laughs> yeah, mean? Drexel exactly is like a, that's kind of hot already. Drexel is like if if the towns all had a different drug, like Drexel was meth for sure. Yeah, Drexel right. does sound like a person's name yeah. that is. I'd be careful. I think the majority of your listeners are from Drexel and New Lebanon. So I just <laughs> want to take it easy on that. <laughs> Sounds like the majority of your clientele. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, I was just checking my demographics, and it was just all Drexel. Yeah. You just put, draw a circle around everyone who ever listened to my fucking podcast. It's one trailer park located in the heart of Drexel. <laughs> I was going to say, this is the number one podcast for people who live in trailers. I'm actually so. running for HOA of a trailer park right <laughs> now. So. Somehow they're picking this up with the bunny ears. Yeah. <laughs> No, we got it. Oh like, we don't get God. the news, but we get the Morningwood podcast. Yeah, we do. It makes kids cry blood. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> are Whoa. You, are you okay? <laughs> no, I just remember that you said that earlier, and I was like, why did What he if I was like, no, I didn't, I like, dude. Why did he say someone's <laughs> crying blood? I just wanted to say it out of context just to fuck with you. It feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, you get why I did it. Yeah, it does. You feel like a god, huh? <laughs> Uh, sort of like a Demi guy. Okay. Like or like Demi Lovato, kind of sometimes. Um, yeah. Now I am worried about. Well, you. I sing her songs uh, alone to myself sometimes. She got some bangers. Yeah. Yeah, bangers. Go ahead and sing one now. Go ahead and hit me with your best skyscraper. That's What's right. That? I'll throw a song out. Well, good oh, you're you. gonna say maybe you're I'm De- confusing Demi Lovato with Demi Moore. Uh, that's what I. Meant. I don't know many Demi Moore songs, so go ahead and sing one of hers. <laughs> is that an actor? <laughs> yeah, it is. What a fucking idiot, dude. We should kill him in the parking lot after this. <laughs> uh, there's not a parking lot here, <laughs> luckily, folks. There's no parking lot whatsoever. We'll go to the nearest Casey's. And we'll fucking just kill you by forcing breakfast pizza down your gullet and just making you choke on it. Dude, and then are you gonna three pieces of pizza? Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's real torture, dude. <laughs> like, what if, dude, it's like Edward Forty hands, except for you have to tie Casey's pizzas to your wrist. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm in there for that one. Did you eat it so fast, you bite your finger off on accident. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. dude! Is that a sausage? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a real saw type. It tastes thing. like there's oil under that fingernail of that sausage. Yeah. Dude. That's the new Saw remake. It's just it's really they're just they're Bad getting party re- games. Yeah. They're running out of ideas. It's like, I've taped pizza to your hands. It's like, this isn't that bad? Like, not it's even not handcuffed. That bad, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. I'll just get this over here and I'll just open this doorknob. He's like, oh, fuck. God damn it. I thought He's you were going to so eat old. it. Hey, was, it like, was it not a guy in like a big wheel? What was it? Yeah. 
That would really that, it was it was it a tricycle. Of, was that him? That was no, that was the like, like a little puppet, puppet or something. Okay. Dude. It was like an animatronic. I didn't really know. Thing. That yeah. shit was scary. Yeah. Not when he was on the tricycle. I would have been dude, if I was trapped in there, I'd be terrified and then someone comes on a tricycle and be like, Oh, we're gonna be okay. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna make it. <laughs> dude, those those movies were kinda gory. Like not just for their time, but they were kinda like, even if you go yeah. back and watch them, dude, that's Very. gross. Mm-hmm. Man, my thing was when those came out, my thought was like, This is some it wasn't like some made up demon shit or whatever. It was like some shit. It's like, yeah, someone could kidnap you. Yeah. It was, it was scary. This. Yeah. The, it was, the one where they got dropped that chick got dropped into the vat of needles. Ah. That's the one that yeah. It's never a good vat of anything, I'll yeah. be honest. With you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. No one ever says yeah, vat of love. Yeah. Vat, dog. Hey, I like that vat of rainbows you have sitting in your apartment. It's, it's nice on the credenza. What's with the cast? I got filled a fucking vat of cotton candy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be all right. I that scar. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, I fell in a vat of balloons. Yeah. Since. Oh, sticky as hell, but I'm all right. <laughs> But uh, oh, man. we were talking about we just uh, we were doing a little bit of a scream marathon. When hey. we were, oh, did you guys watch the new one? Yeah, not yet. I, not, I, I don't did. ruin it. Don't ruin it because don't I really it. want to watch it. I have not seen it. I'm a huge fan, bro. I just went back and watched the first one recently, mm-hmm. and that scene when Drew Barrymore dies at the beginning. What? Still gets me every time. <laughs> <laughs> spoiler Damn. alert! She's the first kill. Yeah. You son of a bitch. Uh. Yeah. Spoiler alert, everyone at home. If you haven't seen the first scream, yeah. Drew Barrymore does in fact die. It was fucked up though, bro. Like the way that um. The way that he killed her, it was almost like, and if you were like a teenager like or a young kid at that time, because mm-hmm. she was very young, mm. you like just related to those movies. I know so many people where, kind of like we were talking about Saul, like Nick mentioned, it's really easy to kind of go along with that because someone could really possibly kidnap you. But just having like a young girl die like that, I think when we were teenagers watching that, it was just crazy. It was like touching. You're right, because like... I mean, how many times are you home alone at night cooking popcorn on your stove? Mm-hmm. And a lot. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> no, a but what lot. pisses me off mansion. about uh, <laughs> like the first scream is like all the like all the covers and the posters and stuff have Drew Barrymore's face like really big on it, mm. and she's only in there for like five minutes. Yeah, so. you know what really grinds my gears? Yeah. Uh, well, it was just so scary too because the dude ran. They both oh. they like they ran. You know what I mean? Wasn't this Michael My- like Michael Myers out here like walking at the mall and shit? Yeah. No, they were really coming, terrifying. and there was more than that. one guy, and you you suspected that it was almost like they were able to do that and kind of like live that plot out because there were multiple people, but you wanted to believe it was a little bit of magic, kind of like the old horror movies at the like a Michael Myers, right? Yeah. It's like it kind of like left you hanging on to see if it was like something a little more supernatural than or like they were in more places than what a normal person could be, obviously. But mm-hmm. then when you find out it's two guys, I think that when they made sense of it and it wasn't like a ghost thing. That's when it was really scary for real, right? Like, I like I use the word magic. Like, I've never been watching a movie where people are getting murdered, going like, "Oh my god, I hope there's magic in here." <laughs> yeah, there's, it's movie magic. Yeah, there's a little, little bit of magic. <laughs> no one's on fire in five minutes. I'm gonna be. It yeah. was really funny when you're like, "It was really messed up how they killed uh, like Drew Barrymore." I'm like, I think so most sad. of the murders were messed up. No, dude. <laughs> or what about Winkler when he's up there on the fucking field goal post? Yeah, oh, yeah. Man, mm. so fucked I got up. super excited about him. Being I would rather see post. Winkler with bees every yeah, time. I know, <laughs> right? dude. Dude. You're gonna kill him in a movie, bro. Uh-huh. Put bees on Winkler, please. It, it's crazy how horny everyone is in horror movies. I'll be yeah. honest with you. Like they're why? always they're always di- What do you mean? Why? When you feel death is imminent, bro, your dick is gonna you know it's gonna do one of two things. It's gonna re- it's gonna fucking fight or flight. That's what your dick does. Just how like, many people in the screen movies died because they were trying to bone? A lot, a of, lot them. of them. That's and why the they Jason separate movies too. Group. That's yeah. not new to horror. Dude, John, like, yo, but I like. Go ahead. That's why I don't fuck. I'm just like that nervous. Oh, that's why. It's a good thing. Like, <laughs> oh my god, people are throwing pussy at me constantly, fellas. You, you look at I scheduled out some time to do this podcast. I'm I can't believe you're here. Fighting a couple gals off on the way in, but I'm always like, ladies, look. Uh, I can't. Sponsored by Blue Chew. <laughs> I don't want to die. Uh, yeah, I don't want to die. <laughs> yeah. So, or else I would. Kyle and his big dick. <laughs> Let's cut it there. <laughs> that's how we end it. Yeah, that's the end. Everybody's gonna. That's a huge yeah. cliffhanger, by the way. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Okay. That's, right. that's a good callback. Yeah, exactly. That's a callback to the episode that no one else listened. Someone's like, "What?" Because you didn't promote it because your mom would watch it. Yeah, I didn't want my mom knowing I had a fucking huge dick. Just for the people at home. Just for the people at home. First of all. To Kyle's mom, he does have a huge dick. If you right. were wondering, uh, he absolutely does. And uh, just for the people at home, I was like, hey, Kyle, will you share this episode? And he was like, <laughs> he literally said this in a message. He said, fuck you. And that was like three months ago. And he never <laughs> he never opened my messages or anything since. I have no idea what he's I doing. I did here. forget about that. He was like, fuck you. That's literally what he, I was like. This Ask is me to share this such one. Such a sweetheart. Ask me to share this one. I will. Ask me now. I'm calling him out, America. You talked about your dick again, though. 
Ah, oh, man. And your I mom gave him knows. a blue chew if last anyone knows, time your here. mom knows. No, he doesn't. My mom hasn't checked into my dick since I was like four. Like she's not popping in every I feel like year. Four like, is a little bit older than you should have. But I, you could. Did I say too old of an age? <laughs> Damn. Nah, dude. Four is. <laughs> you had. <laughs> I'm four? 31, dude. I'm, I'm visiting my parents right now. How many years has it been, Nick? <laughs> Be honest. No, nah, it's been. I don't know. I don't know. I wish it was socially acceptable to, hmm. to kind of like not necessarily to your mom, but to display your penis to people. A little. Yeah. Because, like, if there's something off about your penis, I mean, it's like, all right, good luck solving that on your own. You can't, you know, get a second opinion on it, you know? What do you mean by off, though? <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> what did you say? I feel like we're living in Groundhog's Day. We were just... We were just... It's, it's an hour of you going, and we're back. And we're back. <laughs> and we're back. And I'm glad to be back. Can you uh, uh, say it again? Yeah, no, we don't have to do that. Uh, you know what really grinds my gears? Um... Anyway, yeah, and we're back, everybody. Just wanted to tell you guys <laughs> that <laughs> I just uh, I just airdropped Kyle's mom a picture of his dick, and he actually he has to carry it uh, in a wheelbarrow when he has. That would to- imply <laughs> my mom is in the room if you're airdropping a photo to her. <laughs> you're goddamn right. Just like the Scream movie, there's a plot twist tonight. I have Kyle's mom tied up. Bring her out, John. Bring. <laughs> You know when someone's tied up and you send them a text message? Yeah, that's weird. Hey, why didn't you open my text message? I don't know, man, because you fucking tied me up. Well, we had a deal. She was like, I won't call the police as long as you give my phone back. And yeah. I was like, all right, here. I won't call the police as long as you send me a picture of my son's dick. <laughs> yeah. like, all right. Hey, it's hard to come by. Yeah. You know I feel like I mean? airdropping a dick is a little nicer than just I had to direct send two pictures. take this. You know what I mean? Because like, airdrop, they can kind of see it and be like, no, nah, I'm good. No, yeah. we, couldn't even, we, couldn't, we couldn't get the whole thing in one airdrop. It was like... Uh, <laughs> Dude, honestly, speaking of airdropping a dick, I've never gotten a dick airdropped. But even if you hit accept, there's that little loading thing. Uh And it gives you time to be like, who am I? You know, what am I doing here? (laughs) I should go back to school. (laughs) Just start airdropping uh, your dick pics of like people's on airplanes and stuff like that to see who's open and just. That's everybody his, on this plane needs to see my penis. I feel like that's the same thing as, or at least it will be at one point in the future. Like airdropping someone your penis in public unexpectedly is going to be the same thing as flashing them, right? It's going to be like lewd behavior. You could probably get a charge for that. I would say you should try it and let us know what happens. That okay. Like if before flashing someone, you went up to them, you're like, "Would you like to be flashed?" And then they'd be like, "I'm good." And then you'd walk away. It's okay, like okay. So if that's the, if, if that's the case, it, fine. if that's the case, then. Uh, like everybody that sends that link that sends that dude sitting on the corner of the bed that has the arm hanging on between his legs, then. But this is the thing, bro. Like if someone was like right now in an airport and they sent my kid on her iPad like an airdrop, she would not know to say no. She would probably just accept whatever the fuck. OK, it was. well, thanks well, for bringing, your, them, thanks you know, for bringing your young daughter into this. I was, <laughs> well, I was kind of defending or- airdropping <laughs> dick pics. You're like, look, my daughter. I'm like, all right, I'm fucking done. I'm, I'm just switching saying, teams. I'm just saying we can we can make fun of Kyle's mom, but not my kids. That's where <laughs> that's that's where we draw the line. Yeah. No, I'm just saying it. That's a that's a real point. I know this is like we, we are being playful. But you said like maybe that's the way it. everything's going. Just so. in general, what if my mom or your mom actually did? I know we were being playful about it, but what if your mom really did though? Get like a dick pic from someone at a fucking airport. Is, I don't know. I'm is not that fucked up though? Phone. Just Every time I see my mom on her phone, no, I slap it out of her hand and go, "You getting fucking dick pics?" <laughs> She's like, "Hey mom, I know we were just at the Chinese <laughs> restaurant. Did you get any fucking airdrops while we were going through the drive thru <laughs> Yeah. Can I see the phone, mom? Like, it's like, hey, your <laughs> Can parents, I see your phone? You your parents used to check your phone. You're just like, mom, maybe I can look through your text a little bit. That's how it's going to be in the future. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you have to monitor your parents. Your so parents cool. are way hornier than the kids. Yeah. Um, not that kids are horny. Nah, let's take that out. Too. Don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you <laughs> fucking say it. All right. I got to do a lot of work editing this now. Maybe laugh harder than I want to. <laughs> just leave it. It's not going to do anything. Probably not. Well, we already can't sponsor it, right? We're just going to. We're just glad to have you here. That's what we're doing. That's what we're just. We're happy that you guys are here. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, we were, we were looking at each other. I was gonna be like, "Are mm-hmm. we happy to be here? <laughs> What's our answer?" Yeah, what well, is your answer? How's that? How's that food, gang? You guys good over there? That's my mom. <laughs> Did you guys get any of that? The <laughs> pizza come? I saw John carry some stuff in. No. Oh, you went out to smoke? Are you sure it didn't come <laughs> while you were out there? I smelled something. I smelled the Domino's. It's Did you guys there. eat? Over this there. is not sponsored by Domino's. Mm, my little sniffer is working. You just smelled the microphone. Listen, There's, there, that had to be a I've been horrid eating, smell. I've been eating super. Why? Is, I'm the only one that uses this one. I know. It's fine. Why is it horrid? Jesus. I just feel like. I'm not going to smell anyone, it. I just feel like anyone. It's going to collect. <laughs> I was about to smell it, but I was like, nah. I just, it has not. to. Oh, all right. Thank you. Sick. 
Yeah, let's edit that out, whatever that drug deal was. was. It was for the pizza. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Oh, it was for the pizza. (laughs) It was just for the pie, you know? It was for the papaya. Yeah. Hey, I saw a, uh, so I'm, I'm visiting my parents right now. I don't usually watch the news, but I'm visiting my parents. Yeah. So I'm watching. Are you the visiting news. your parents? Yeah. And, there, and, and they, <laughs> and they been watched, visiting his parents recently. And they watch the news. <laughs> so I've been watching, so I've been watching some of the news and I just heard the story about this lady that, um, she needed a, or her boyfriend needed a kidney transplant. So she gave him a kidney and then he broke up with her. Whoa. Yeah, I've seen it on TikTok. Isn't that great? Holy Here's the thing. Shit. Like that's fucked up, right? Yeah. It's a little that's fucked up. That's TikTok. fucked up, dude. It is, but it's kind of funny too. Of course it's funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the that's the baller. But also people were like like people the thing that's crazy to me is people were like, I can't believe he did that. And it's like, dude, if you need a Why? kidney, would you not be nice to whoever you needed to? This is the thing. To get you a think kidney? that she's like a good looking girl, though? Is there a picture of her or not something? Not after losing that kidney. I wouldn't want to. Well, regardless. Well, I'm regardless. Just saying, regardless. Do you think he hooked up with a chick that was like no, it was his girlfriend. out of his league, though? It was already his girl? They were already together, is and the way they made the kidney sense. failure. They mm-hmm. probably, he probably like found out she was cheating, but also found out he had kidney failure the same day. And he was like, you know what? That's fair. I'm not going to be able to tell her, but I can get her back like in the <laughs> ultimate way. And I can take a part of her That's with me. So right? I got a That's funny story a about prenup, that. My, uh, my mom's uh, husband is actually uh, on the donor list, and he actually just found a match. And uh, my mom is trying to was trying to hook me up with the chick that um, is donating the kidney. I'm like, are you trying to kill your husband? It like, I'm like, like, are you trying to fucking kill your husband for real? Not only was she trying to get the kidney from this guy, she was trying to hook you up with her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. So you could yeah. give that girl STDs yes. and then her kidney has STDs and <laughs> yeah. she gives it to that yeah, yeah. guy? Yeah, how does it turn bad? It's like kind of, you're giving your, uh, is it your stepdad you said? Or yeah. Dude, I think your herpes. mom is probably thinking like the girl deserves something. I mean, she gave our family a kidney. Son, if you could just like fuck her and take her to yeah. the movies. <laughs> We're taking something well, out of her. Let's put something in her. You know right? what I mean? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, dude, also his <laughs> I mom. I don't think he's going to replace that kind of weight, dude. <laughs> hey guys, just wanted to say how much it means to us that you support the channel. Thank you so much for supporting the Morning Woods podcast. But do you want to become a producer of the show? Do you want to help support us that much more? Do you want to take the reins on this content train to the next level? Well, that's what you can do by going over to our listener support program and signing up for just 99 cents a month. We have three tiers to choose from, starting at 99 cents, four ninety nine, and then our baller tier is nine ninety nine. <laughs> also, his mom is looking out for all the men in her family. She's yeah. like, my son's getting some, my hubby's getting some. <laughs> dude, Zach's mom is a boss, dude. Right. That's crazy. Whenever Christmas my mom comes, never turns. One look of the good. boys. <laughs> Whenever Christmas comes around, she gets some trips. And, yeah, to no the presents. Club. Remember I don't when I got you? Fuck present? somebody with one kidney? Ew. Yeah. What do you mean? Ew? What do you think <laughs> when you kidding, grab her, you're gonna feel the difference? <laughs> they do have like dating apps for just about any category now. There's probably like a dating app for like people who only have one kidney or something. Aye, that's crazy. Very specific date. Oh, we should do that. We should look up the mm. weirdest dating apps because they are getting very specific. What do you think the the weirdest one would be? Like if you had to like, what's the most specific thing you can think of? Narrow well, the it down. COVIDVaccineMeet.com. Hilarious. <laughs> God, pay this guy more. <laughs> Okay. Um, we should pay him at all. <laughs> I wish I, I could pay him at all. I bet you. The question is, <laughs> I pay him in friendship. They're like, we've never said the word paid on this podcast. Yeah. Now we got to edit that out. So we don't pay Zach. <laughs> yeah. Are oh, you talking you about weirdest, weirdest dating apps that I can find on the app store? I bet you there's some little sketch ones on the uh, darker side of the internet. I'm going to guess. Yeah. Like you're you mean like backdoor websites to like pornography yeah. or like to, uh, uh, prostitution yeah. and stuff. I'm like on that. it. Give me a second. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Zach's going to do some research. I really right don't here. actually don't want to know the answers to this. Cause it's going to make me really sad, but I am thinking like I'm a little nervous. So it's like, yeah, I would say up there's with my like rooster. An, what about yeah. like amputees? Uh, you think that there's like an amputee yeah, for sure? I've seen some. Oh, amputee. they get someone else to use the app for them. Well, that's not what I mean. They could okay. have lost a leg or only one <laughs> you leg. You guys have right. one of those. 16 of anyone? the weirdest dating sites you didn't know existed. Great. Here we Kyle, go. That was good. Number one, zombie passions. Oh, my God. They're fucking dead people? Open up about this. That's what I was afraid of. That's so hot. Not actually. It's it's, uh, it's actually for like Walking Dead fans. Oh, that's somehow So they just worse. dress up like, a, like Number zombies. Number two. They have to smell like zombies, too. Furry mate. Okay. So furries are getting together and... Furries the are the people who dress up like 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 creatures. dogs and yeah. shit and go to conventions and they're disgusting and they shit in diapers and With, I wait, don't like how you they peppered that in there. Yeah. I know that no, was like, it, it, all right. So if that you look weird. up if you look up the internet historian, 
Like, uh, he he goes on uh, to talk about this, like, big convention but with all these furries, and it's absolutely disgusting. That's crazy, bro. Like, these so people are absolutely just... And they're, and they're the just costumes. fucking everything. <laughs> and they're fucking everything. Yeah, you know, how, you know how they say sometimes, like, Mike Pence, like, someone's so... He's so gay that he's he's so homophobic? No, that's like that. that's yeah, how I'm, that, that's how Zach is with the furry. With the furry. He's yeah. like, see me he's being so a furry against this. Zach's like, oh, they're <laughs> so gross. They fuck everything. They meet every Tuesday at the cafeteria behind the Walmart at 2 p.m. <laughs> he drops the email and yeah. shit. He's like, if you guys do oh. want to get on the mailing list, then you are nasty, just like me. Yeah. All right, <laughs> all right. Well, I got um, number three is Sea Captain date. I'm getting sea on that captain, one. That's hot, bro. What do you Why mean? Why date a pirate when you can date the captain? If you have this very specific per, uh, profession in mind for your husband, a match is waiting to be made. You know, on that app, they date long enough, and then if it goes <laughs> well. One. All right. Number four, daily diapers. Okay. This that is was a community of people who enjoy wearing diapers. And uh, I, <laughs> I wouldn't mind shitting in a diaper yeah. just, just to be lazy on the, you know what I mean? Like, Where's, I'll get up 30 minutes. I'll get up, you know. I'll get up five minutes later, but I just want to do it. Low key, um, I think there's so few people that do that. There's probably people who are furries who also are on there. They're like, I, they have both apps. You know what I mean? Like, right. You probably. think shitting in a diaper? Niche. Do you think after you shit in that diaper, it's almost like right after when you come, where you're just like, ah, what did I? What did yeah, I do? What did I do? Somebody yeah. probably yeah. likes that, just it like the chick no, who but, shit in the jar. Um, right? who farts in the jar? The chick. I got a headline. I'll show you guys. Have you ever farts been on? Jar, you've yes. been on 4chan before? Um, no, we have, haven't. Oh, you haven't? No. You've never been on 4chan? Are you saying 4chan? 4chan, like the... like no, no, the, no. That's where they the like anonymous, announce where the next school shooting is, don't it they? Pretty mu- like, it, it's a bunch of fucked up shit. Dude, she made an NFT of her farts, bro. Tell me how that works. I don't know exactly what it works, but basically you could do it with anything. So I could do it with like my kid or my a painting or like a lamp, and you just have to make some... You have to make some sort of digital code representing a fucking physical object. That's basically what it is. And every one is different and has its own unique code. And they could be worth whatever. I, but, it's kind of crazy. But a, but a, 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 a lot of people use fungible. them for... She just uh, farts into the a jar. A lot of people use them for uh, money laundering, though. Nick, I don't know if he's asking about the farting in the <laughs> jar. I think that's pretty cut and I'm dry. Like, what's a fart? <laughs> what's a fart? What's a did jar? Oh, I thought you just said that. Did they have to use a picture of her? She's been like When she did this photo shoot, she's like, make it look... Like if there was no headline, you would look at this picture and know that I sell Move my your parts head real for quick money. So people can see. This is what it is. I think she's fucking hot. First of all, I think Stephanie Maddow is fucking hot. Uh, but the thing is, somebody thinks chicks are so hot that they want to smell their assholes, bro. And I don't get that. I don't get it. I don't. Th- I don't get sniffing someone's fart. I don't. You, I think it's you think, fucking... you think she's farting in there? Or you think she's just bottling air and sending it away? I don't think it matters. Actually, she had to stop doing it because she got but sick. But did you see the she guy that was so uh, much selling... Was putting out so much air and making so herself much content. Did you see <laughs> the guy that content. was selling air from the Kanye West concert? Like my videos. It is, what? It's bad yeah, got, like a couple years back, a guy was selling air from the Kanye West concert on eBay. Me. Yeah. Did they sell it? I don't know. They can do it. Here's my thing. We don't know if the fart is going to last. I think she probably farted into them. Mm. Yeah. And I don't know if it's going to last. But well, if I they mean, don't open it. What's the, the, what's the expiration like date on a fart? That's like fine you, wine, dude. What if half the dudes <laughs> opened it and just threw up? <laughs> Why would they like, it was a good <laughs> idea. It's like milk. It gets bad if you leave it in there for too long. Dude, how does she... Oh, man. How does she, she know to, there's not food particles in it? She is like really that? hot, though. She's, She's gorgeous, bro. They try to put it through airport security, and during like that thermal scan, it's like crazy hot on the So scan. how much money did she make? 200000 She's crazy hot, bro. Yeah, That's great. You said it. Too many times now. Now okay, it's like look, relax. What, what I like to, I I have three of them in my safe. If you guys want me to break one <laughs> of the that's the picture out. of the guy who smelled a fart. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I did. <laughs> yeah. open the jar. That's that's a a <laughs> I, I still got a couple more on the list if you want me to go down. Him and nine little Korean kids are stuck. <laughs> Yeah, hey, right, been, we could do headlines. I've been down here for so long, and I knew that fart wasn't do a good the, idea. Do the, we'll we'll come back to this guy, but do the keep doing the apps because that's fun. There's uh, just put the camera on them because I'm gonna give the kids some pizza. Okay. All right, so there is a uh, hot so uh, hot sauce passions. Wait a minute. I Imagine wanna... you and another uh, from a day, dating site hit it off and get married, and your partner doesn't understand your love of hot sauce. Oh, the worst! <laughs> forget get forget your husband beating the shit out of you. He better <laughs> he better share my affection for hot sauce. And they don't have anything for this, but number six is Amish dating. Like that's not. The oh, we're, are we back into the? And, oh, but I, like they just—they literally said I didn't know that they had apps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, so we're back into the weird dating things. Yeah. yeah. 
What right. you think? We're I, no, dude, I was <laughs> no, the hot sauce. I'm, I was like, why do they like hot sauce there's so much? A, what are the, who are these people? <laughs> there's dead meat if you're a mortician or a funeral director. No. That's a niche That's a, That is 420 singles. The hot sauce one is more to me like a butt thing. <laughs> like, yeah. It's some kind it's of like dirty. It's like a Drake thing. I did like, think. like hot sauce is code for a dirty asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Number nine is, uh, this is a disgusting one. It says herpes fish. Oh. What? That's, I don't like, I mean. And it I, says, I get... to be quite honest, I like this one. It allows singles with herpes to get together so they don't have to date someone who might reject them for their STD status. That's nice. The person who wrote that article definitely has herpes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I like this one. You shouldn't judge it, so fuck off, huh? <laughs> <laughs> was that it well there's one that's called miss travel and that's just w- women who want to travel so pretty much like a sugar daddy website i thought it was going to be women who've had miscarriages <laughs> 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 i was really nervous i was like well they give it a cute name but uh, bro my how- children are travelers <laughs> yeah how often have you been on a dating app and you match with somebody? You're like, "Hi, how's your day going?" They go, "I just had a miscarriage." You're like, "Ah, oh, goddamn it!" Really ruined. <laughs> Why the mood. are you out? Yeah, tone it down. <laughs> okay, there's a uh, naturist passion. Forget- nudist looking to date nudists. Forget miscarriage. I want to be Mister Carriage. All right, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I had to get one more in there, huh? Oh my god. Women behind bars. How's that one working? Some some guys like dating women who are confident, bold, and adventurous. A woman in prison would meet all those qualifications, right? Wow. <laughs> it is crazy when people have relationships with people in prison. Yeah. Huh? Like Charles Manson, like... Oh, he cleaned up pussy, he baby. Cl- yeah, he, he, <laughs> he got conjugal visits and everything. Yeah. That's, oh wild. God, that. That's he, wild. He cleaned up he pussy. Cleaned up pussy. <laughs> he did. Okay, but, but like even beyond him, he's famous. Even like... Like they just come in for the, the, the what the little meetings and they, and then they get conjugal visits and like if they if they're in a relationship long enough and like prove that they're in a relationship not just trying to. Mm-hmm. Do, do you think any of those girls who are part of the Manson family? Do you think any of them started going there because I thought it was like a fun <laughs> summer camp? And then on day two they're like, "This is <laughs> fucked up." Well, we haven't played dodgeball once. I, yeah. I, I honestly <laughs> think that it was just like uh, like once upon a time in Hollywood. Oh. So like like they did that like. I think they did that really well, like the way that everything was set up, because they were pretty much on that old movie set, like mm. and stuff like that. Oh. So, yeah, it was, yeah, it was kind of crazy. Well, you do look like you researched a lot about the Manson family. Well, like, actually, well, it was pretty accurate. Dude, I am. <laughs> what about the a pl- plethora the- of useless knowledge? And like, you have the same swastika tattoo on your forehead. Yeah. So <laughs> much. What about the what about the twist at the end when they when he was at the wrong house? Is that mm. real? No, no, none of that. That, it, that was that was all Hollywood. Like, but there's like, it's like Inglorious Bastards. Like how they churched up the end to make it something completely different. Hmm. Uh, that's what like Tarantino does with like his movies that are semi true. Like, what if he did that? <laughs> what if he did that with like a really dark topic or something like that? I guess I don't know. I guess Inglorious Bastards was a pretty dark topic. But what if he just did like a <laughs> how but, much but, darker but, can he Inglorious? Uh, but Inglorious nah, but Bastards. something really sad. You know, <laughs> th- there was there yeah. was uh, a group of uh, Jewish. Uh, there was a regiment of Jewish soldiers that actually did not, like not necessarily like what they did, but it, they were like a bunch of badasses mm-hmm. that went and wrecked shit in Germany. They probably so, did way yeah. worse. I feel like that's that's there's, fair. Yeah. I was gonna say there's probably shit in war movies that they don't show us. It's like ten times worse, yeah. bro. That's why they can't talk about any of that shit. All those dudes who come back with all those confirmed kills. Like, <laughs> oh man, they like oh, I can't. I don't, tell I, don't you see, I don't see them. One sc- dude uh, shoot bragged people. about it. He goes, "What up?" <laughs> yeah. like, oh, here he comes. Yeah. Oh, I'll fucking tell you about it. Yeah, I brained him. Like, <laughs> it seems like information. You should, it seems like information you should be able to openly yeah. talk about, like oh, your yeah. job or whatever, right? But that's uh, nope. You never, he would never talk about because he was too busy finger banging chicks underneath the bar. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. No, that makes sense. It sounds like some, <laughs> some of them talk about it. Do. I feel like there's got to be. Yeah. You know, I don't have any good stories about my <coughs> relatives killing people. But. Every time someone releases like <coughs> a document like that or something, I had smoked some weed on the break okay. here. I didn't know if it was that or the. <coughs> I didn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I hit a dab <laughs> in my kitchen. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, Kyle. Uh, <laughs> Uh, anyway, what was what was I talking about? My cough got me all my coughing. We're talking about all. killing people. Yeah. Oh yeah. Anytime you see someone like 
whistleblowing or talking about like old operations in the military and things of that nature. It's always deathbed. it's always a super old man. He's like kind of slipping the senility already. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. No, I don't. Think I was so. trying to cancel out that comment. I made. There's no. Like, Which side is he on? I can't get a read on this guy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, it had to be a man. Obviously. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Are you saying there are no brave women in this country, Kyle? No, I'm Is that what the fuck you're saying? I'm saying there could no. be, but I'm saying they didn't make it home. Okay, go ahead. Okay, anyway, <laughs> it's just some crazy it's just some crazy old man who kind of has that glossy eye look like Nick has. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you can't really trust anything that he says at all, ever. And you're like, yo, there's something wrong with this guy, a little bit off. Yeah. And uh, so I yeah, got cloudy it's, eyes. It's hard to what? I have cloudy eyes. Yeah, I was just trying to bring you. No one's ever told me this. Nothing worse. Nothing. I just look like a. Stare. I just look like a seventeen-year-old cocker spaniel. Yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> one said anything. Nick hasn't. His brain hasn't started growing anymore since he started smoking weed, and he's like just Nick's just like fourteen years old, like for the rest of his life. Stunted my. Well, not my growth, but my brain. <laughs> I'll tell you what. The growth of your brain. Yeah, I'm, I could really go for a grilled cheese right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's all he thinks about. <laughs> Anytime, though. I mean, that's you said we were going to play Manhunt. <laughs> no, no, that's how I got him here. That's how the only way that Nick would agree to come over here. And I was like, dude, sleepover and Manhunt. And he was like, I'm on. That's, uh, Bro, I'm he on was walking around sniffing out some good hiding spots for about 20 <laughs> minutes. That's why he was late getting in your hand. testing him out. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was down. I'm like, Kyle, He's can you clearly see sticking out of your trash can. Uh, <laughs> you're talking about old people though like yeah it's nothing scares me more than like an old person who has like that smoky eye mm. who like or one just one Ooh, or like they look blind but they can still definitely see color yeah. they yeah. can smell you because uh, they're racist they can and smell you better than they could before they <laughs> yeah, lost yeah, the yeah. eye exactly like, hear you oh yeah. dude i don't know old people kind of like mm, i don't know i think after a certain age it's time to take them take them out back you know yeah yeah and there's a retirement home out back is what i'm saying it's yeah. almost like the <laughs> It's just up the street. Yeah. Kyle actually owns it. Uh, yeah. He's investing in, in, in retirement homes in the area. And uh, if you guys would like to invest, please follow him um, on Twitter. It's uh, Big Dick. Mm -hmm. It's at Big Dick. Um, and that's it. That's that's all I wanted to say. Big this Dick is, Pharma. This is sponsored. Yeah, we by paid Big a Dick lot Pharma. for that handle. Um, so yeah. legally, our I have to say, our retirement homes do not have heating or plumbing because we spent all our money on the Big Dick handle. But it's still a good time. <laughs> if you ran a retirement home, what are you doing? Like, what are you? Just cold and smells like ass. <laughs> yeah, dude. No plumbing. Hey, they're already almost dead, dude. They already think they're dead. They're so fucking cold. Uh -huh. Well, it's like I I feel like there's there's plenty of profit in that because it's like in and out. It's like a revolving door. If you can get them just for a couple of years and. A lot of these families have so much money that they don't care. They don't want to. Also, they don't want to take care of them. Sure. Right. Yeah. They're they're they have careers and families. And like a family who checks somebody into a, a retirement home a little too early. We're like, Dad's forty five. Let's put him in the home. <laughs> Jesus, that's gonna be Jeez, my I'm kids. Fine. Like, yeah. You can talk fine. Um, yeah, dude. That well, actually, uh, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's just like a hotel. Know, Every day, the parents Honestly. walk up and they're just like, "Can we can we get one more night?" Yeah, exactly. About ten years ago, I was an STNA. And um, what is that again? A state tested nursing assistant. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm glad you and, shortened that. And uh, <laughs> no wonder he doesn't say the full thing. <laughs> what a dork! <laughs> but um, there's this guy who had a stroke, and he was only in his 50s at the nursing home, but he couldn't talk. He just would say bop 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 bop. And uh, he used to do the McDonald's commercial. Yeah, that, that's what, that's exactly what like. He's like, really into scatting, actually. And, <laughs> and like it would just like it would take so much for me because like he knew what he was trying to say, but that's all he could say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he'd be like, Bob, 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 Bob. Yeah, like yeah. he sounded like a fucking muppet. You could kind of understand and, though. He or get some or, or like uh, or like the parents off the peanuts. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah, was so at a like, home with five other guys named Bob though. So at the same time, we're like, <laughs> he might be fine. Yeah. So like it, it was like it, it took me everything to not like laugh right in his face like I'm a horrible person for this but like it's just so funny when he's getting mad and he's like bob 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 and yeah, I'm yeah, like yeah. this over here no bob or he'd be like bob 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 <laughs> yeah. and I'm like would like, you bob bob back could you yeah. try to like talk with him <laughs> no like, see I if just, he can't learn your language no. you got to learn his language <laughs> that's how you got to get down to his level dude Zach, Zach said <laughs> go ahead <laughs> Zach was just mouthing words cuz he thought the guy was deaf so he's like the guy's like, I can still fucking hear you. <laughs> what if he was just fucking with you the whole time, bro? Yeah, yeah could, could you imagine? Yeah, <laughs> like just, it just it has a character and shit. I'll catch myself doing that sometimes. Sometimes when there's somebody who has a condition where they can't really talk, I find myself not talking. And I'm like, wait, that's probably the one thing that's going to help us. <laughs> well, you can communicate with them in different ways. You probably feel that, right? Yeah, I know. But it's almost like 
when I when I when I stop talking, it's like it's almost like I'm like trying to challenge myself. Like I really don't have to do that. Like I could talk and we can get this transaction done a lot faster. Yeah. You know, mm. instead of like writing and I'm sure they get pissed. I had a <laughs> here's something. I had a a customer come to my work a couple of weeks ago who was um he was deaf. So he couldn't uh very well talk and he had to write everything down. And I don't know if you've ever had <laughs> it's like usually like when someone's you're just smacking that pizza, dude. That audio is getting picked up, dude. That Someone was John was, sucking his finger. I could hear it. For, for the record, that was John Morris sucking the sauce oh. from his finger. I thought his someone was lips. sticking a plunger in a bowl of pudding for a second. <laughs> I didn't know what was going his on. His lips smacked so hard, my neighbors heard it, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we always just assume. Anyways, this guy had retarded ears. What happened? <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Oh, my uh, God, dude. COVID vaccine on that one. Okay. Oh. Guys, How dare you? <laughs> hey, I would like to post a picture of Nick as a kid right now behind here. Just this, just for sympathy. Do you have it? No, I do. Should I? You, you, it, it was in the message. You got to have it. it yeah, I don't know. You got to have it. Okay. Yeah, I got it, dude. <laughs> Man, this kids, picture is actually way better than my story, so let's you, forget what I was saying. No, no, keep going. So this guy couldn't hear, and what happened? Kids with big It was, ears. Uh, he would write everything Man, out. he couldn't hear, and he had car problems. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it disappeared because it was in your story. It's gone. Uh, talk. All right, let's get out of there then. We don't need to see our <laughs> they don't chats. Want to see our messages. All right. I was like, "What's going on, man? What's going on with your car?" <laughs> Everyone finds out we're gay through that. Just right a lot there. of hearts, <laughs> a lot of hearts and dick pics. I ain't gay. It's not gay. It's on Instagram. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fair game, hey, dude. If it's in the sauna, it doesn't matter, right? Exactly. Man, that is. A, I've never been to a sauna. You ever been uh, in a time machine? Well, don't act that surprised. Like how I broke my neck. Whoa! You've never, <laughs> you've never been in a sauna. No. What? When would I have been in a sauna? I don't go to the fucking gym. Look at me. But like, when am I going to the sauna? At a gym, I guess. Yeah, or a resort it's that like your parents home. own. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> right. One of those nursing homes. It looks like one of the. <laughs> looks like one of the golf courses that I own probably has a sauna. Yeah. yeah it right. feels good. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it does. it's just hot. Yeah. You just. Feel, I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. That's crazy. You go sit in this room and sweat. Yeah. So, uh, either one of you ever been in a time machine? No. No. Are you all right? Is that a weird <laughs> Well, this man claims that he has. <laughs> <laughs> what a segue. Well, this speaking of saunas, this guy thinks he can time travel. Time traveler claims underground alien race will be discovered in August 2022. This guy is a TikToker who has claimed that he's from the future and he's warned that humans will come to an oh, well, humans will come in contact with an underground alien species in the summer of 2022 and uh, this list dates other dates to be weary of, which we don't care. We just want to read the headline. That's what we're here for. Um, I, I think that's insane. That's absolutely insane. Okay, right? so he thinks he's a time traveler. He and thinks that, or is he Nick? Uh, there's no video or nothing. We don't get to see. What's his name? Well, well I'm sure we could find him, actually. Maybe we could uh, we could get on TikTok. Does he look, look anything up. like... We put like the camera the, on him, and I'll look like it up. The, does he look anything like the is minor? Already? Right you, there? you guys know what that means. That means he's already heard this episode, and he knows the shit talking we're about to do. To oh, him. fuck. Oh, dude. Clearly not that pissed or he would have killed us. He just bursts in here and stabs (laughs) us. He's like, that's for the joke you're going to make five minutes from now, dick. (laughs) Dude, we could could break the space time continuum. It's Minority Report, but for shitty comics. (laughs) Okay, so he's a time traveler, and he thinks thinks aliens are coming in August. That's what he's saying? Is it this guy? Yeah. I do get... I follow him. Aesthetic time. You already follow him, and I'm bringing the story up on the podcast. We've never. Zach is like, yeah, it's normal stuff. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, my dad. Every day. <laughs> yeah, he's like, they talk and stuff. Yeah. And he's like, I could have had him on the show if yeah. you would have just asked. He just. Every ep- every post is just, he's I'm a time traveler. So that's the weird part. I don't know. Is there a picture of him? Is there. That's what I'd like to see him. If we could see a rational person discussing no, time travel. Well, let's get a of... sample. Let's get a sample. Maybe he talks. I can't believe he has this many. He videos better have a cool accent. If he sounds, if, yeah, he better have like a, right? Yeah. Because he's been posting. Let's do his accent of what, what you think is. he sounds like before. I feel like he's going to sound like, I don't know. Oh, okay. This is a little different than time travel. Also, why is he posting stuff about this, yeah. right? If he had the time travel thing in his pocket, uh, what, what, right? Because he he, he's running viral. out of content, right? That's I, what it I, is. There was like one, by the way, it's all these time travel videos and you're scrolling through so quickly. There was one video of a cat and I was like, well, at least he's even it out, you know? Remember <laughs> Just, these five crazy dates, guys. December 25th, 2021. All right. The most shocking thing in history, causing it to be remembered. What happened? That's already over. Dude, what an asshole if this turns out to be true and he could have saved everyone's life. These he didn't tell are us. Already over. He did tell us. It's not his, uh, his Well, that was Christmas, it, it just, huh? It what just says everyone's going to die, and it's like, I'll tell you when. Like for part two, and you're like, God damn it, man. Where, Where else can you really reach people, though, is through TikTok. That's the mainstream right now, bro. That's the pipeline. 
Is it? You don't think so? No, I don't. Your mom's on it. My kids are on it. That's All true. All the people we sympathize with, even us. You guys have it. Nick even has it. I you, do not have TikTok. You don't have it? I don't have TikTok. Okay, do you message on there? It. You can. You can DM and stuff like that. It's you just think about the you, same thing. TikTok's your favorite one then? That's what you're saying. I don't know because there's other platforms that have the same thing. It's just reels. You have Instagram I've, reels. That's basically I've all Instagram. it is without the Well, TikTok like, post. is like the videos that you see on reels like two months later. Yeah. Mm, like right. Essentially. But like right. TikTok is like. They're kind of all. Because reels came out. Here's the thing. I don't have TikTok, but the TikTok still come in through my Instagram. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like force feet. Like can't get away from it. Yeah. 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 It, it's true that reels does kind of get the news a little bit late. I was watching a reel the other day yeah. and it's like uh, Barack Obama wins the 2008 election. And I was like, well, that's old news. Like, I feel like we already know <laughs> about that. Reels just <laughs> came out. Like yeah. And they ago. just found out. I was like, yeah. bro, that's. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Go take that one out. No. <laughs> It's like the Internet Explorer of yeah, short exactly. videos. <laughs> Man, nothing YouTube, YouTube even has one now. Like it, like, for shorts. Yeah, is that for what it's shorts, called? Yeah. yeah. Those, are, those are real nice. Because it, it knows I don't want to watch a full video. It's like 15 yeah. seconds, you fucking that, idiot. That is great, though. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I got to be really into it to watch a longer than a That's why 20, I like 30. a lot of the uh, Joe Rogan clips. Because mm -hmm. like I'll watch like that like 5 to 15 minute thing that they have on mm -hmm. there. And then I'll be like, okay, I'll go watch the whole episode. Mm. I'd never watch the full episode. I go, I, I got what I needed. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Uh, by the way, is this the, the picture? Is that the picture of the guy who time travels? That's what I'm saying. Because like, I, I hope that he's like this outfit. This minor outfit's gonna come back yeah. in a few years. I don't so. think that's him. Stay tuned. But uh, <laughs> I just heard sensual whisper. <laughs> like, All right, well, now we have a boner, and let's talk about time travel. That's time travel back before I, like, I got hard, I huh? Felt like Patrick Swayze was behind me, and yeah. trying to show me how to the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Oh, man. I'll tell you who is behind you. We're going to tell you guys. It's Travis Charles and John Morris, and they're on the next episode. Uh, and they've waited patiently. We had to feed those guys pizza. Mm. And um, now they are digesting the pizza, and I think they're a little upset. They want to leave. They You're ready for leave. a lot of they're burps like, on that next episode. Yeah, I just, got a, I just got a nod from the old man himself, and he was like, hey, you need to wrap it. The f he texted me. He said, wrap it the fuck up now. That's what he said. And I was like, bro, why are your texts uh, yelling? And he was like, oh, my bad. It's in all caps. It was really no big deal. And then he airdropped a dick pic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he he guys was wanna... aggressive, too. You could tell he was angry in the dick pic. Like, oh. You guys want to do any plugs before we uh, wrap this up? You guys got any up? upcoming dates? This will be out like you know, two or three days from now. That's... uh. It's always weird when they're like, you got any dates? You're like, ah, if you would have asked me last week. I <laughs> well, I think it's the 25th, right? I think yeah. today's... You guys are just on a date this weekend um, together. <laughs> I'm, um, I don't know. Well, you go first. Your I was just going to say. Just do your February dates. No, I was just going to say my Instagram. Look, uh, follow my Instagram, Nick Taylor Stand Up. I'll do the same. Uh, my Instagram uh, and Twitter. Juggle Club. Underscore. Shut oh, the hey, fuck hey, up, hey. motherfucker. <laughs> oh I'll cut your dick <laughs> off, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. It's just he brought up a wound from my past. And if you guys subscribe to our uh, if you guys subscribe to our 999 program, we will let you watch uh, the actual footage of Kyle cutting his dick off. So that's <laughs> something to look forward to. I can cut my dick off. For $10. For just $10 a month. Uh and I only got half of that to cut my dick off. So that's that right. was, like I, I was waiting to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll plug my Instagram too. Cause I don't know the dates off the top of my head. It's Kemper underscore Kyle and no other Instagrams. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> thanks. Thank, hey, All right, guys. Thanks for having well, us. Thank, thank you, you guys for watching. Um, I, it was really cool having you guys here. I, I appreciate you guys coming and talking about time traveling and penises and, I don't think we covered much else. And to the be COVID honest. vaccine. Uh, I don't think we're supposed uh. to talk about that at all. We have uh, no recommendations about that whatsoever, nor are we doctors. Uh, or I am, and I have opinions. Look, uh, <laughs> if you're listening, I over. want them to know Stop right it. now. Stop it, Kyle. Stop it, God damn it. All right, you guys have been great. Thanks so much. Subscribe to the Morning Woods podcast and make sure you join our listener support program. It's all Peace bullshit. Out. Peace out. Stop Thank it. You. Stop it.